When the Latter Rain Revival transitioned from an event to a movement, many new faces entered the healing revival circuits, and even more new churches were planted. In William Branham's home state of Indiana, for example, led by Assemblies of God minister and Branham supporter Roy H. Weed, a new Assemblies of God church was planted every single month for 13 straight years. Indiana was considered a rogue state by the Assemblies for their support of Latter Rain, due to what they considered to be heretical doctrine. Expositional preaching in the movement was nearly non-existent. Instead of expanding upon passages in the Bible, many ministers introduced their new revelations and tried to find scattered verses, even if only one single verse taken out of context, to support their claims. Worse, because many of them considered themselves to be new prophets or new apostles under the fivefold ministry doctrine, their listeners considered their statements to come with spiritual authority and did not critically examine their use of scripture. As a result, some of the new doctrines were both metaphorically and sometimes literally rewriting stories in the Bible. Such is the case with William Branham's altered story of Jezebel in the Bible. William Branham was against cosmetics and used Jezebel as his example. Jezebel of the Old Testament led Israel into idolatry, and that idolatry included human sacrifice. There was no greater evil. Her death represents the punishment for idolatry and human sacrifice. But leaders in the movement claimed that because a single verse states that she painted her face, God punished her for cosmetics. Yet nothing in the surrounding text of the story mentions painting her face as evil, while it clearly describes the idolatry. Listeners did not critically examine and accepted rewriting the text as new scripture, not even considering the other things that she did in that same verse. As she prepared herself for the confrontation, she also fixed her hair. But because William Branham had no issue with women fixing their hair, this was not mentioned. Interestingly, other passages used to support the cosmetic doctrine, such as 1 Timothy 2, 9 through 10, also mentioned hair. William Branham's cult of personality, however, has no interest in learning the real context of scripture because of Branham's alleged authority on scripture. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.